Unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple of years, you undoubtedly know that AI and deep learning are a pretty big deal these days. So I wanted to include at least one benchmark where I could check if overclocking the integrated graphics could improve deep learning performance. I came across AI Benchmark. AI Benchmark Alpha is an open source Python library for evaluating AI performance of various hardware platforms, including CPUs, GPUs, and TPUs. The benchmark is relying on the TensorFlow machine learning library and is providing a lightweight solution for assessing inference and training speed for key deep learning models. Installing AI Benchmark turned out to be a bit more of a hassle than initially expected. First, it relies on the TensorFlow machine learning library. TensorFlow can be used with AVX-enabled CPUs or CUDA-enabled GPUs, neither of which describes our integrated graphics. Then I came across TensorFlow Direct ML. TensorFlow Direct ML broadens the reach of TensorFlow beyond its traditional GPU support by enabling high performance training and inferencing of machine learning models on any Windows devices with a DirectX 12 capable GPU through Direct ML, a hardware accelerated deep learning API on Windows. While I'm pretty software illiterate, I was able to use the TensorFlow Direct ML package to run the benchmark on my integrated graphics. For those who also want to do it, I'll quickly run you through the process. First, install Anaconda. Then run the Anaconda prompt. Create a new Python environment for the benchmark. Make sure to specify Python version 3.7 as only versions 3.5, 3.6, and 3.7 are supported by TensorFlow Direct ML. Activate your newly created environment. Download and install the AI Benchmark package. Download and install the TensorFlow DirectML package. Start Python. Import the AI Benchmark package. Specify AI Benchmark to run on the IGP. Use CPU equals none will prevent the benchmark from running on the CPU. Verbose level equals three will provide us detailed information during the benchmark. Then start the benchmark. The AI benchmark takes about 20 minutes to complete. It provides us also with three scores, an inference score, a training score, and an AI score. It's the latter that we use for our performance measurement. Do note that the benchmark is also using quite a bit of memory. Our integrated graphics doesn't have any dedicated memory as it uses a part of the shared system memory. So as you'll see later on in the video, we ended up running out of system memory when using two sticks of eight gigabyte. So I recommend a minimum of 32 gigabyte if you want to use uh, this benchmark. Also, you may run into an error called DXGI error device removed while running the benchmark. This happens when there is a timeout. Basically, the benchmark figures our integrated graphics gave up and went home. But our IGP didn't give up, it's just a bit slow. To solve this issue, you can increase the timeout with the registry entry TDR delay. This registry entry will extend the time a software application waits for the IGP. I used a value of 20 and this resolved my problem. Oh, and did I mention to you that the IGP is pretty slow? As you'll see later on in the video, our IGP gets a score of about 1000 points. When I run the same benchmark on our aid Rocket Lake course, the score is about 3000 points, so three times higher.